Hello everyone, this is GPH Hawkins here, and I just want to talk a little bit about something that's been bugging me uh, for the past few minutes. It's 5.18 a.m. here, and I was just talking to my girlfriend, Chase Madison, and where you can find uh, a link to a YouTube right over here. Now, um, something I want to bring up is uh, Hep Afterlife. I just want to bring up a few things. I'm not going to actually speak about it really. I'm just going to say that for you Christians out there who believe, I'm sorry, let me, I have to move my camera. For you Christians out there who believe in an afterlife such as a heaven or hell, if you believe in a literal hell and you believe in a literal heaven, that when you die, uh, and you will go to heaven and you'll be internally blissful. Number one, I would say proof. Um, by the way, I'm sorry if my computer's lagging. Um, and number two, if you're my friend, and if you honestly believe that you will go to heaven when you die and non-believers will go to hell, you cannot be my friend. Because you want me to, you, you are a friend, if you're a friend of mine and you do not want me to suffer, if you do not want me to be in pain, if you care for me, you will not be a Christian. You will not want me to suffer for all eternity. And do not say, I want to save your soul. No. Until you can prove, provide real evidence besides faith, because faith is gullibility. Because many people will tell me, you have to have faith. I'm sorry, you have to have faith in us. You have to have faith in God that he would do it. When I say faith is the denial of observation, the denial of critical thinking. I'm sorry if my computer's lagging. Faith is the denial of gold is the denial of critical thinking. It is gullibility completely. Do not tell me I need faith. Provide evidence for this. Now, this is what this one person who I'm great friends with. She is a believer in the rapture, not a lip, not the rapture that's coming. She doesn't believe like her. She doesn't. She says that we don't know when and where the rapture is going to take place. The more and I would say. I say to her, you were just like Harold Camping, except you, you were just without an expiration date. I'm great friends with this person. I care for this person deeply, and they, and they tell me that they care for me extremely, extremely as well as I, I, I care for them. But I tell them, I cannot be, I do not why uh, you want me to be your friend if you know, if you believe that when I die, or if you believe that when the rapture happens at any moment, you will be whisked away by angels. Uh, with only your blood and clothes on the ground up to heaven while I am here to suffer through those seven years or seven thousand years whatever interpretation it is to suffer an agonizing pain for out many years and then finally die and burn and scream and pain be in pain scream and cry forever and ever until the end of time and you're correct and you're alright with that you cannot be my friend if you care for me and you want to be my friend, don't be a Christian. Be and if you are a Christian and you care for me and you believe that, you will never be in heaven. You will, you will be in heaven physically and spiritually, but not emotionally. You will have a mental block and you will have a mental hell. You will be in a mental hell knowing that the people you love, the people you care for, are burning alive forever and ever simply because of one small finite thing. They didn't believe in your God. While the person in front of you who's in heaven is a mass murderer of, is the mass murderer of 50,000 people who right before they died accepted Jesus in their heart. How can you live with yourself if you believe that? If you believe that when I die, I will burn forever, but I'm your good friend, you care for me, you never want me hurt, and it's, it's just annoying. It's, it's just stupid. If you're my friend, stop being a Christian. If you care for me, and you want me to never be harmed, don't be a Christian. Because you cannot be my friend if you're a Christian and you believe in a literal hell, if you believe in a literal rapture, that you will be safe and protected from it while I, because of one small choice I did not make, that I made personally, because I am wired like this, because I have chosen this way, because my brain by, was created, basically, in your belief, by your God. Your God is ultimately, ultimately responsible for who goes to heaven and who goes to hell. No matter what you say, no matter what you say, whoever goes to heaven, whoever goes to hell is God's choice. Not our choice because, number one, he created the system. That's number one. He created this system knowing ahead of time who was going to heaven and who was going to hell before we were even created, even thought about being created. So, 
those are just my fault in that. Thank you all for watching. GPA Talkins here. Uh, blogtalkradio.com slash GPA Talkins. Uh, description down below. Links to my blog talk radio, to my Twitter, to my website, and to my girlfriend's uh, page, which she'll be dealing with. A video. She'll be making a video later on tomorrow about atheism. I'm not exactly sure what will it be about. When I wake up, I'll probably be seeing it. So enjoy that, and just a reminder, if you're a Christian and you believe in a little hell or a little rapture, which most of you do, reconsider your thoughts about it, and, and then tell me you're my friend. Ignorance is a bliss. Peace out.